Hi, welcome to Salakim Professor. My name is Sydney, your Salakim Professor, and today's lesson will be dealing with starting a new part in our milling operations. I'll start creating my new part by simply going into Salakim, New Milling. Now, when I do that, I automatically get this dialog box as you see here. In this box, we have three major fields. The first field is the directory where we want the part to be stored. This is defined automatically by our default settings. However, if we want, we can always change the spot. By clicking on the area over here, Use Model File Directory, this will automatically put the part not where the default is, it will put it automatically where the part itself is actually located. The next field is the name of the part. This here is normally created by the actual part name itself. However, if you want, you can change it. And in the third field, we have the model name. The model name is the actual part itself from where it's located on the computer itself. If we were to go into browse and load a different part in here, then a different part will be loaded into our new part. Okay, at this point I'll simply say OK. And we're now ready to continue with our milling part data. The first item that we choose is our CC controller. We can either choose whatever our default is, in this particular case our Haas 4-axis, or we can go into our list of different controllers and choose whichever one we need to use. My next field is creating my coordinate system. In our coordinate system area, we have a checkbox called multi-sided. What multi-sided does, this allows us to create a home position on any side of the part, whether it be this side over here, this side over here, the back side, whatever side we want to create our home position, it can be created using multi-sided. If I did not choose multi-sided, then my home position can be created only in the front view of SolidWorks. In most cases, we will be using multi-sided. Now, when we click on Define, we have a few methods of creating our coordinate system for our part. The first thing we have is our MAC coordinate system number. This determines what will be the coordinate system on the machine itself, whether it be G54 or G55, and so on and so forth. Our position, in this particular case position 1, is the position number within that MAC coordinate system number. Our next field deals with actually selecting the coordinate system itself. Thank you for joining us today on Salakim Professor on our lesson on creating a new part in Take care and have a nice day.